got it pretty early, but it's 9.27 now. We all got up about like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Check out the sunrise. Um, yesterday was hectic. They didn't really get a vlog too much yesterday besides the shopping and stuff. But the whole transit to from Tokyo to Osaka, that shit was insane. Like We got lost. We hopped on the wrong train. <laughs> Freaking the train hopped on. We went on that one that was too early because apparently, you know, the trains were on a different time. It was the right train, but the wrong time. Make sure. So, just make sure, make sure you, you had the right train, the right time, the right seat, all that. And it was only like, what, like seven minutes apart? Yeah, it was like seven minutes apart. Yeah. So, luckily, we were ahead, not the opposite. Yeah. So we just got off at the next stop, and then we just waited to the next train, hopped on that train, then went from the express bullet train all the way to, I forgot the station's name. Uh, Shin Osaka. Shin Osaka, something like that. But we got there. We thought it was like Tokyo's train station, but totally not. Like in Tokyo, the train stations are color-coded. Down over there, it's not color-coded. So like I was trying to follow the color, and the color had nothing to do with it. So, you gotta be careful about that. And then I'm using Google Maps, right? So, Google Maps over here telling you, like, hey, go this train, go this train. But as soon as you miss that train, Google Maps would transfer you to try to tell you to a different train. But what we did was we just found one that was like 15, 20 minutes away. And we just went to that train and just waited for the time until that train came here. Because uh, that shit was getting confusing. We spent at least 40 minutes or an hour just trying to find a train <laughs> and we're coming around walking with our carry-on luggage with all our shit that we came here with mm -hmm. sweating with all day oh, man. Man, we didn't do as much walking but it was still like stressful like carrying all that but we finally made it last night um we went to get something to eat uh, it was it was like a Japanese waffle house to what I think it was, but you know most places here apparently are like vending machines, so you just pick whatever you want, and then you just stick your money in and you get some tickets, and you just put it on the counter and then they'll go grab your stuff for you. But it was pretty good. Um, now today we're in Osaka for sure. We're gonna do a little shopping and a lot of eating today. Sales. Open Sesame! So everything's super nice in general. There's more than one FB hotel. There's one that's literally like a block away. We went to the wrong one. So we also did that last night. We went to the wrong hotel. Uh, yeah, but that one, that one would look fancy. Like, right? it looked. eating takoyaki. We're about to go into Don Quixote. It's pretty much like a super Walmart, but Japan's version. Supreme on a year on Orange Street. Just picked up some Coca Cola Energy. Homie told me to try it. Devonta told me to try this. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's supposed to be Coca Cola's version of Energy. Though. It tastes like, like a cocoa, but like a different, it's a slightly different flavor. Mm. Like, you know how you drink Coke and it has that, that taste like at the end? Uh huh. Well, it's just like, it has this intensified, it's like a stronger taste. Other than that, it's the same. Back at downtown Bori, we're in Osaka. We were here earlier, 
Now we're back and we get some more food. Earlier we just got the little octopus balls. The takoyaki. But now I'm just gonna get something else. The good piece, all in one. Okay. Oh. Mine look nothing like that. Mine didn't come out like that at all. <laughs> oh. oh. That's that fat piece right there, boy. That's like eight dollars right here. Yep, that's eight bucks right there. Yeah. Pretty good. They also provide us with a, a wet nap, which is clutch. I like the wet naps over here, like it's thick and it's not like tear party. I don't know. You may have worried right there. Oh, yes, sir. Pretty much it's not cheap. Like, it's straight up, like a nice wet, wet, wet nap. Something like that. Yeah. Sushi on the conveyor belt. Bucket. We're just trying to. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. They gave us a little basket to put our bags in so we can take our bags off. And then she gives us a towel to cover our stuff. What a five dollar piece of Nigeria look like. That's crazy. This tuna does feel like it melts in your mouth. It's like slowly melts. And slowly. It's like a piece of meat, but it slowly melts like nice and soft. And it's nice and smooth. It's not slimy. That's like a, a good fishy like mango taste to it. I don't know, like a hint of mango. I don't even know. But it's fine. I'm gonna have to get another piece. <laughs> that one piece costs five bucks. Why these other pieces, like this place, these two pieces two fifty. The other ones are dollar, dollar fifty. But that should work fine. <laughs> right here, I think this is salmon. I'm not sure. None of this stuff is labeled. But it don't matter. It's all gas. Well, most of it is anyway. Over here. Oh, right there. Southern bluefin. This one is southern bluefin. I don't know what the other one was before. I didn't read it. But there's a southern bluefin right here. Oh, that's the money one right there. There. Which one? Southern. Oh <laughs> shit. What's that? Sal oh, this is salmon on toilet. Okay. Just check out this eel right here. It looks delicious. This plate is four bucks right here, four hundred yen. It's like almost four dollars. It's a little bit less, but I'm gonna go with uh with, with that. Though. Then we got right here salmon on toro, o toro. This plate right here costs seven dollars, seven hundred yen. And then right here, southern blue fin. This is a five dollar plate right here, five hundred yen. 
it looks delicious. Try out the seven dollar plate right here with the fish eggs on top. Try fish collar. Try the other three fifty. <laughs> this is a big ass piece of EO too. That's tender, bro. Right? That's tender. Yeah, yeah it's the, whatever the price the item is. So everything you get is price per plate. Nate is 10 plates in. I'm only seven plates in. I'm gonna catch up three more plates and I think I'm good. I feel like I'm gonna be good after three more plates. Excuse me. Good after three more plates. The thing that I like about the sushi here, eating sushi and stuff, you don't have to eat a lot. You can just come in and just pick and choose what you want. Like even if you just want one plate, you get one plate and go. Uh, but I like it because it's really lean. Like you don't feel like shit after you eat it. Like if I eat McDonald's or something greasy, I feel like shit after I eat it. Come on, what else? We got some special grapes right here, man. What's so special about these grapes? Two dollars and fifty. So I got this grape right here. I oh, don't know. It's only five pieces of grapes. And this costs two dollars and fifty cents. It must be some gas. I don't know. Uh, that's tight. Okay. Okay. That's tight. She just scanned it. They got a This is over there. Okay. That's not bad. Fifty six for both of us. It's like twenty five. Usually it's just sixty for like just me. The U S. Sushi. Usually like sixty bucks just for me alone. For us fifty six, fifty seven ish between me and Nate. That's not bad. Some work, and they gonna put it in. Oh shit! Cause you had to get it when it was like moving. That's how she put it up. So after you know, knock it out, son. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! You got that bitch. Thank you. Uh, we still got three. Oh, three? Okay. Mm -hmm. One more try, bro. Come on. One more. I wonder, can we choose which one? No. Huh? No, I don't think so. That's a waste. Come on. Bro, how'd 
I checked my backpack. Alright. It's about to fall, dog. It's about to fall. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We got the bag, we secured the bag right here. You know, got two, they got two. Easy. You know what it do? Yes, sir. It was actually pretty easy to play this than the ones in the States, man. The ones in the States looks ass. States definitely rigged. For real. Well, this is rigged too, but <laughs> it gave us a chance. And uh, we're here to buy a luggage. Because apparently this is the cheapest place to get luggage, but due to the size that we're getting it, we're going to spend like 130 because we're trying to bring stuff back. I don't know, this dark field is really, really bougie and high-end. They got like Gucci, Louis, and all that there. It's not like new stuff, it's like a little bit more like pre-owned stuff, but like all design. They even got Rolexes in here. And we're on the third floor right now. I don't know. Everything seems legit just the way everything's displayed and everything, so I don't know. If you guys know anything about Don Quixote over here in Osaka, <laughs> just let me know. But they got designer shit in here. Like, it's crazy. They even got rollies in here for like 20000 US dollars. Not yen. I think I'm going to go with this luggage. Snake so he can go with that one. The black one. I do black or white. I mean, you like black anyways. <laughs> <laughs> 